Welcome. Uh, we got some big news today. Now, it might fly over your head or under the radar uh, with most people. However, this news will affect essentially all Android users and or uh, Google Chrome users on a desktop, laptop, or even a MacBook, what have you. Um, Google is rolling out a new sign-in security feature. Um, it is the next generation of, you know, the two-factor um, authentication where when you sign into your Google account, it'll ask you, uh, it'll give you an SMS code, and basically it'll text message you a code, and then you type that code in to your uh, the device you're signing into your new Google account on. Or it would give you a device prompt, which would essentially send a notification to your device in your, in your swipe down notification panel. It would um, ask you, hey, are you trying to sign in? And you just simply select yes. This is basically the next step in that second um, uh, um, way of signing in that I just explained. This is called passkey. Now, Google is pushing this. It, it's available today. Now, it's not automatic. You actually have to go into the settings of your Google account and sign up for it, or not necessarily sign up for it, but activate it. Now, I'm going to put the link in the description of this video, in the description box, so everybody watching this video can go do it. I strongly encourage you to do it. Now, the old way, hackers have been able to bypass the SMS two-factor sign-in by essentially two ways. They can either physically steal your phone um, and then they can look and then they can try to sign into your Google account. Your Google account would send you a text message. They can just look at the text message on, on your phone and then type it in. Or they would do a SIM swap, which is more difficult, but much more elusive. Anybody from somewhere on the other side of the world can sign in. Uh, if they do a SIM, a SIM swap. T-Mobile has had a ton of issues with this. Google has had a ton of issues with this. And there's no real way to prevent it. That's what's so scary about it. Because uh, long, I've, I've explained this numerous times in previous videos, but basically the SIM swap is somebody, now this has to be like an inside job. Somebody at T-Mobile has to get paid under the table, which from some articles that I've read, uh, of some convicted people, they those T-Mobile employees that were doing this SIM swaps were getting paid enormous amounts of money. I'm talking tens of thousands of dollars uh, per month to do this. That's why some people that need the money real bad, they you know are a sucker for these bad guys paying them real good money so they can do it. Now punishment's real bad. You you will you know have prison time. Um, but a, a let's just say a T-Mobile employee would would go inside, or a hacker would hack into the T-Mobile system, which has happened as well. They will go and physically change your phone number to their device, and then they would hack into your Gmail or your Google account, and then they would choose to send an SMS code. And then, since they stole your phone number and put it onto their device, they could sign into your account by getting that. SMS, that text message code would be sent to their device because they switched your phone number onto their phone and then they could sign in that way. Google, this eliminates that SMS hack, the SIM swap um, um, hack, um, essentially. So yes, I guess it would, I guess I have to take back the statement that I said uh, 30 seconds ago. Yes, this would eliminate the SIM swap hack and is basically what this is, pass key, is, and Apple doesn't even have this available. Now, I'm sure they will make it available just, just like they made available, um, just like they enabled um, uh, monthly security updates like Google's been doing for 10 years. But I'm proud and I'm happy that Google's doing this because this this uh, this uh, scamming thing is getting way out of hand. What pass key is, 
is it's similar. Okay, so when you're trying to sign into a new device or your Google account on any device, it Google knows what devices you're signed into and it also knows what devices are around you uh, because of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and ultra wideband technologies that are used on newer devices and some one or two year old devices. So when you sign in, let's say I'm, I got a new laptop and I'm signing in to my Google account or Chrome on the new laptop, it will say, I'll get a notification saying, do you want, oh, I guess once you enable passkey, it'll automatically, it won't even ask you, it'll just do it. It'll not only um, send a notification to your phone, like the old way, but the old way you would just hit yes. This new way, you actually have to pass a security step, meaning a lock screen. Now this is cool. Uh, from what I read, I'm, I'm on my way home right now and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go enable it. But from what the article said, once you sign into a new Google account, it knows what devices you have near you because of the ultra uh, wideband um, uh, uh, networks and the Wi-Fi networks and the Bluetooth networks. Everything's connected, right? In the networks, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, ultra wideband. So it will not only ask you to push a notification to your device that you're using, like my S23 Ultra. So if I go home, get a new laptop, sign into my Google account, It'll ask, it'll send a notification to my S23 Ultra and ask me if I'm trying to sign in. If I hit yes, you have to pass another step. It'll ask you A, for your face unlock, B, for a fingerprint, or C, it'll ask you for your pattern or your pin on your phone for your lock screen. So just adding that extra step is a huge deal because if a if somebody like I said those two ways earlier in the beginning of the video somebody at a bar or something a restaurant or even a break in your home whatever luggage whatever if they steal your device and they try to sign in they'll just either one of two things see the passcode Google sending them and then t type that in to, to sign in or they'll just see the notification are you trying to sign in and, and you hit yes that's it now your, their their face won't match, uh, their fingerprint won't work on the phone, and they won't know your lock screen or your passcode. So this just adds that one step of basically it's 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 saying you have to put in a physical pass another physical test to continue to sign in. So like I said, either face unlock, fingerprint, or pattern or pin on your lock screen. And just that one little step will eliminate tons and tons and tons of hacked accounts. Um, this is a game changer. It came out of the blue. Usually we get word of things that they're getting ready to release, features, software, devices, hardware. Um, but this came out of the blue and I couldn't wait to let y'all know, make a video about it. And uh, I'm gonna sign up right now, I just got home. So I'm gonna get off, um, check out the link in the description. I'm going to put a link there so you don't have to go looking for it. This is going to be directly to sign up for it. It's not going through third party. It's boom, straight to the uh, Google site that, annou that announces it. So uh, I, str I strongly encourage everybody to go sign up for that right now. Again, it's not automatically enrolling you. You have to physically enroll yourself. Now, I'm not sure if once you enroll this, I think it eliminates all the uh, previous uh, security steps because that would basically... Um, you know, um, yeah, so once, you, yeah, that would be right. So once you sign up for this, this will be your default sign in for every device moving forward. So, um, uh, thank you, Google. Uh, and, uh, I will bring any new news or if I have any issues, um, uh, with it or anything that I didn't mention on the video, I will make another one and let y'all know, uh, if there's any updates on this, but, uh, go sign up and I'll see y'all later. Peace.